Hey guys, how you doing? This is Ron. I want to share something with y'all. Uh, first of all, I've got a video that uh, I've uploaded that's going to play right after my little announcement. Um, but this is something about the AT series uh, Garrett machines. Uh, I've heard that a lot of them, the consoles, have been breaking off. And as we all know, the consoles on the AT series are only supported by two little plastic pins. Uh, a lot of times, after you know drop in, uh, especially if you're doing work in creeks, you know you slip on a rock, um, you fall, you, uh, you put pressure on the console and snap. I don't know why they were made without additional support. But I've heard of a few people, you know, talking about their consoles have broke. And it hasn't happened to mine. I don't want it to. Uh, I've heard of some people using longer screws for the, uh, for the little console plastic pins. Uh, first of all, the screws that Garrett uses, it's made for plastic. It actually... Uh, displaces a plastic as it screws in but the screws that a lot of other people are using all it's doing is expanding those plastic pins um, I think they're setting themselves up for a lot of trouble because eventually those pins will break and when they do break using a longer screw it's going to break closer to the housing surface and uh, could actually even make a hole and when you're having a really good day and something like that happens, that would really be a bummer. But anyway, I found this uh, company. It's called uh, Shapeway and online. And um, they actually, with the use of a 3D printer, it makes a uh, support that will mount over the bar. And it's, it uses the same four screws that's in the speaker plate and all you do is mount this over the bar and use the same screws and firmly put it on and the housing is much more secure than it was before. Uh, there is a special way of uh, putting a, uh, this mount on. Um, as I've read uh, there's a word called Phoenix that's, on, that's printed on top of the uh, top of the support. Uh, I have heard that due to a uh, hole displacement um, on the mount working in conjunction with the uh, screw holes on the machines that the uh, P in Phoenix does direct towards the coil not towards the uh, hand grip. So I'm sure to say it in the uh, instructions. But I like my AT Pro I want to take care of it, and I'm sure a lot of you out there has got the AT series, and you want to do it too. Um, originally, they had this set up for the AT Pro and AT Go, but as I got looking, the AT Max, I'm sure, is built the same way. So, if you do a lot of hunting, uh, if you've had it happen, you know what it feels like, and those that haven't, there's just a chance that you can be a little more proactive and you know strengthen the console. It doesn't cost much and uh, still I think it's worth it if you want to take care of your machines. Because if you really look at it, there's not that much really holding them to the shaft. Um, first of all, I don't get no kind of kickback or no comp compensation from this company or anybody. This is just something I'm doing on my own. Uh, I want to take care of my machine. And I think some of you out there want to do the same with yours. So anyway, uh, watch the video. And I hope you like it and take it to heart. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a link in the video itself. But uh, if not, I will leave it. Uh, I'll try to leave it on the video somewhere. Or I'll just put it in the comment box for you to go to but um, I think it's something that uh, I wished it was built onto the machine when they were made um, it's a really cool brace and it really supports the machine a lot so y'all 
review it and uh, if you like it and if it's something that you think that you would like for yours then you're be able to follow the link and uh, put your order in <laughs> anyway I just want to share it with you and because uh, it's something that uh, I want to get from my machine so y'all have a blessed night and thank you for watching sorry for taking so long and talking but anyway you know how that goes bye bye Okay, step one to fitting the AT Pro mount is just remove the existing speaker screws. Okay, take them right out. Use the same ones in the same holes, that way everything's uh, kept uniform. I've got an aftermarket uh, speaker cover here, CTX Killer. Bit of a joke, but anyway. Okay, so put your mount over there. There is only one way it goes on. Uh, this is due to the offset holes on the AT Pro control box itself. And uh, after many, many times of trying to make these, I found out the hard way. So put your speaker screws back in there, and it's very important to not over tighten. Just do each like you do a wheel nut. Do the opposite corners, get them snug, and then just tighten them up just a little bit extra. There you go. You saved yourself hundreds of dollars in uh, repairs for your control box when the uh, usual breaking off the control box happens. Okay.